Chapter 34 Taking on an Impossible Challenge, Huo Yuao shook his head, a determined expression on his face. I'm not afraid of such a thing. Fan Yu's attitude had completely won over Huo Yuao's heart. It only took him a few seconds to get over the regret he'd had from not being able to become a core disciple of the Martial Soul Department. This was because he wasn't alone, he also had brother Sky Dream within his body. The greatest advantage of joining the Martial Soul Department was that it would help its students obtain suitable soul rings. However, the Sky Dream Ice Worm had already promised to obtain a soul ring for him. If he didn't factor this in, the Soul Tool Department could practically give him everything that the Martial Soul Department could. Furthermore, he would still be able to temporarily enjoy the treatment of a core disciple from the Martial Soul Department. Fan Yu continued, If you're not afraid of hardship, I'll do all that I can to teach you. Our Soul Tool Department also has more resources than the Martial Soul Department. He walked towards Huo Yuao and placed a black necklace on his neck. The necklace was adorned with a Tiny, dark gold medallion made of some unknown metal, and there were a few complicated patterns on its surface. With this medallion, you can enter any of the areas within the Soul Tool Department's outer courtyard as you wish. Now then, we're done here for today, but you'll need to come here every day from tomorrow onwards. You've just been put into your new class, so you should head back first. Yes. Thank you, Teacher Fan U. As Joe Yi led Huo Yuao away, a satisfied smile appeared on Fan Yu's face. On the other hand, he Ikeitu's excitement hadn't diminished in the least. This is too good. I have a junior brother now. Now Teacher can't keep tormenting me by myself. Fan U grumpily hit Ikeitu on his dark, bald head. I've been tormenting you. Go do some work. With a downcast expression on his face, he came to obediently walked away. The instant he left, a tall figure suddenly appeared and walked towards Fanu. Unexpectedly, this figure was the vice dean of the Soul Tool Department, Chen Jiuo. Not bad. It went quite smoothly. This Huo Yuao has quite a sincere temperament. He's a good seedling. I was quite happy when they won the finals with their fusion skill, but now that I think about it, I can't help but regret it greatly. Fortunately, Old Yen wasn't even able to recognize such a precious treasure, which allowed us to snatch him up a large bargain. Fanu, how confident are you that you'll be able to successfully implementing our ultimate soldier plan on him? Fanu replied solemnly, "I'm 40% confident if we use it on K2, but our chances of successfully implementing it with Huo Yuao increased to 70%. At the very least, if the two of them work together, I'm 100% confident that I can produce a prototype of the ultimate soldier in 10 to 15 years. Once they've cultivated to my age, we'll have reached our True objective. Good. Chen Jiu Jiu slapped his sturdy chest. With this, the Soul Tool Department will dedicate all of its resources to you from now on. As long as we complete the ultimate soldier plan, I can guarantee that you'll be the next dean of the Soul Tool Department. A feverish gaze appeared in Fan Yu's eyes, and he hurriedly replied, Dean Chen, you should know that I'm not trying to complete the ultimate soldier plan simply for the sake of a higher position. Chen Jiu Jiu smiled. Of course I know that, as this is a common dream we share. The moment we complete our objective, the Duluo continent will turn a new page in its history. Fan Yu smiled. If Huo Yuao's martial soul continues to grow at the same rate it's currently growing, we'll definitely succeed. The martial soul department might not want someone with a body soul, but we do. Does it really matter if he has a 10 year soul ring? So what if he's had a late start? In my opinion, Huo Yuao has a 10 year soul ring that's better than any 100 year soul ring. Furthermore, Zhou Yu told me that he's increased his soul power from rank 13 to rank 18 in a mere 3 months. I've asked Zhou Yu to conceal this fact, but is it really possible for him to be trashed with a growth speed like that? Fortunately, only class teachers have access to a student's registration forms. Chen Jiu Jiu said, Your Zhou Yu is too strange. She insists on making herself look like an old woman. Don't you care about that? Fan Yu was somewhat helpless as he replied, With a temper like hers, do you think I can really control her? According to her, the only way for her to appear imposing in front of her students is to disguise herself. Whatever, it's fine as long as she doesn't look like that in the house at night. After leading Huo Yu out of the Soul Tool Department's testing area, Zhou Yu quickly returned to the Martial Soul Department with him. However, she didn't bring him to the first year's school buildings. After reaching the Martial Soul Department's assessment area, Zhou Yu stopped and asked him, Yu Ao, when you saw Director Du Wailin earlier, did you ask him what effect your fusion skill had? Nope. Huo Yu Ao replied. Zhou Yu furrowed her brows slightly. That won't do. If you don't even know what your fusion skill does, how would you be able to use it in a fight next time? Let's do it this way. After you head back, ask Wang Dong to ask Director Du for you. Ask Wang Dong to. Huo Yu Ao was stunned. Zhou Yu smiled. You still don't understand? You've already become a core disciple of the Soul Tool Department, so you should do your best to show your face around Director Du as little as possible. Also, also, Teacher Wang Yen seems to think quite highly of you, so you should try to keep a lower profile when you're normally cultivating. I know that you have a lot of doubts in your heart right now, but I promise you that Teacher Fan who wholeheartedly wants to raise you into an outstanding talent. I do as well. You might be wondering why I'm inclined towards the Soul Tool Department. Even though I'm clearly a teacher from the Martial Soul Department, let me tell you a secret. A woman should always go along with what her husband does, and Fanu is my husband. Thus, I have to support him. After she finished speaking, Zhou Yu raised her right hand and gently pulled something off of her face from the left side of her cheek. She slowly pulled off an elaborate face mask, revealing an extremely beautiful face that also seemed extremely youthful. Her eyebrows were as beautiful as the scenery in the spring, while her complexion was both graceful and touching. Who are you? Ah, was dumbstruck. Even in his wildest dreams, he'd never thought that the perverted old grandma Zhou Yu would actually be a beauty. Furthermore, how could her true appearance even look strict at all? Zhou Yu quickly pulled the face mask back over her face and said helplessly, "Now you've seen what I look like. My original appearance can't deter anyone at all, so I had to put on a disguise because of my philosophy of teaching." Now then, head back to class one. It's still in our original classroom. Remember, you have to keep everything you've seen and heard a secret, especially the fact that you've become a direct disciple of Fanu. Also, I've heard that you've been selling roasted fish at night. You should stop, as you won't have any time to in the future. Don't worry though, the Soul Tool Department will take care of all of your expenses from now on. In the future, you'll see just how well core disciples of the Soul Tool Department are treated. Yes, Teacher Joe, who Yuao had received too much information during this short hour, to the extent that he was even somewhat muddle-headed. However, there was no doubt that the injustice he felt from not being chosen as a core disciple of the Martial Soul Department had thoroughly vanished due to how highly the Soul Tool Department thought of him, as well as the encouragement that Teacher Fanu had given him in addition to taking him in as a disciple. The moment he got back to class one, Huo Yuao shouted from outside the classroom, reporting in. Enter, Wang Yang's voice rang out. After Huo Yuao had entered the classroom, all of the students in the classroom's gazes immediately gathered on him. Of the four classes in year one, class one was undoubtedly the strongest. Yet, they were the largest class. That title belonged to the diverse class four. This was because the total number of assault type and control type soul masters amongst the freshmen didn't exceed 60. The instant Huo Yuao entered, he immediately attracted the attention of every student present. Wang Yan smiled. Yuao, you came at just the right time. We're about to begin the selection of the class monitor. Come in and take a seat first. Although their classes had been redivided, Huo Yuao and Wang Dong's seating arrangements hadn't changed. On the contrary, Xia Xia now sat to Huo Yuao's left, which allowed the three to be seated in a single row. Huo Yuao noticed that Dai Huobin, Zhu Lu, and Kui Yaji were seated two rows behind them. The moment he'd entered the classroom, Dai Huobin had glared at him coldly, as he stood behind the as he stood behind the podium, Wang Yan said, Next up, we'll be electing the class monitor and assistant class
reinforcement, and Wang Dong had been the main force of his team. Even though he didn't have a three ring cultivation, everyone had seen the power of his radiant butterfly goddess. However, Hu Yuao's name being at the top of the control system list sparked a flurry of whispers. The students who were originally from class one were fine with it, as Hu Yuao had been their class monitor in the first place. Moreover, they'd seen how hard he worked. However, the students who'd come from other classes all had disdainful expressions on their faces. Hu Yuao had been one of the members of the freshman assessments champion team along with Wang Dong and Xia Xia. But many students had secretly talked about him behind his back, calling him the luckiest person amongst this year's freshmen. The fact that a mere soul master, one with only a ten year soul ring, had been able to mingle his way into the champion team, and was even able to enjoy the treatment of a court disciple, had aroused the envy and hate of several people. Teacher Wang, I have an objection to this. Wu Feng, who was sitting near Dai Hyudin, raised her hand. Unlike Zhou Yi, Wang Yan had a warm personality. He smiled. Wu Feng, do you have any problems with this? With a disdainful expression on her face, Wu Feng replied, I don't think that Hu Yuao has the qualifications to be nominated as a candidate for the position of class monitor. He's only a one ring soul master, and his soul ring's even a 10 year one. Even if he was one of the champions of the freshman assessment, he only did that by tagging along with Wang Dong and Xia Xia. Why should he be nominated in this class monitor election? Ning Tian had already given voice of her doubts about Hu Yuao's extraordinary abilities once before, and after their recent battle, she reaffirmed her belief that, in addition to the final fusion skill they unleashed, resulted in everyone unanimously agreeing that Wang Dong's skill had knocked Ning Tian unconscious. It was impossible for Hu Yuao to have done it. Furthermore, the obvious conclusion was that Hu Yuao's martial soul fusion with Wang Dong was the only reason he'd been able to join the champion team. Plus, Ning Tian's team had been eliminated after they lost to Hu Yuao's team. The resentment she held from losing that was why she'd immediately protested Hua Yuao's nomination. Her words, were her words were immediately met with agreement, especially from students who were a part of the control system. Because of her, the entire class emotions had been stirred up. Wang Yan furrowed his brow and replied sternly, Hua Yuao was part of the freshman assessments champion team alongside Wang Dong and Xia Xia. They all have their own strong points. I've personally experienced his soul skill, and I can say that, within the same rank, there are very few control type soul masters capable of comparing to him. The people I've nominated were all based off of the freshman assessment rankings as well as their individual strengths. However, Wu Feng wasn't willing to give up. Teacher Wang, you've just stated what I have wrong with him. Within the same rank, his soul skill is good. However, what rank is he again? He's only a one-ring soul master. Our class doesn't like two-ring soul grandmasters. We even have three-ring soul elders. What right does a one-ring soul master have to participate in the election for class monitor? Can you even convince our class to listen to him? Bang! Wang Dong suddenly slammed his hands on his table and stood up. He turned towards Wu Feng and spat angrily. Don't go too far. Are you angry because you were eliminated by us last time? If you have the ability to, beat us fair and square during an assessment. Wu Feng replied angrily. I'm still unhappy about our loss. But so what? Aren't control type soul masters supposed to have an advantage against assault type soul masters? If he's strong enough to beat me, I'll admit that he has the qualifications to be nominated as a candidate for class monitor. You're full of shit. I'll fight with you. If you dare, come with me to the soul dueling arena. Wang Dong's clear eyes glared daggers at Wu Feng. The soul power in his body had already begun to stir. Enough. Wang Yan's imposing voice suddenly rang out, accompanied by a strong undulation of soul power. This forced the two to immediately shut up. Sit down. Only after Wang Yan interfered, did Wu Feng and Wang Dong unwillingly sit back down. Wang Yan sternly said, Since it seems like there are those with objections, let's put it to a vote. If the number of students who disagree with Hu Yuao being nominated exceeds half the class, I'll write his name off. Students who disagree, please raise your hands. Zhou Yu definitely wouldn't have handled the matter like this. Instead, she would have stood her ground, or might have even directly appointed Hu Yuao as the class monitor. If someone wasn't happy with her decisions, she would have punished them with an iron fist. However, Wang Yan was different. He was a gentle scholar who excelled in theory, but he was much worse than Zhou Yu when it came to dealing with students. Regardless of whether it was jealousy that the one ring Hu Yuao had been able to become part of the champion team, or if it was due to the influence of Wu Feng's words, two thirds of the class ended up raising their hands. Once Wang Yan had finished speaking, only the students originally from class one and a few moderate students hadn't raised their hands. Anyone that had entered Shrek Academy could be considered chosen. This could be seen from the optimum combination of soul rings that most students had before the four ring rank. Of the students within Shrek Academy, how many of them weren't proud and arrogant? How could they not be resentful and envious after they were forced to agree to a soul master? One who only had a ten years only had a 10-year soul ring, being appointed as their class monitor. Wang Yan had clearly never expected a situation like this to happen. He was left somewhat dazed for a brief moment. In a fit of anger, Wang Dong nearly stood up again. However, he was stopped by Huo Yuao. Somewhat satisfied, Wu Feng said, Teacher Wang, over half the students in the class have disagreed. Please rub his name off the blackboard. Wang Yan had truly been put into a difficult situation. He taught many students in the past, but this was the first time he'd encountered a situation like this. Furthermore, he'd already given his word earlier. It was impossible for him to take back his word now. He could only look towards Huo Yuao apologetically, just as he was about to remove Huo Yuao's name from those qualified to partake in the election. Huo Yuao slowly raised his right hand. On the outside, Huo Yuao's mood hadn't changed at all, even when Wu Feng had started to object. He'd even stopped the enraged Wang Dong. However, was he truly as calm as he appeared on the inside? Wang Yan and said, Yuao, you can talk. Hua Yuao slowly stood up without even sparing a glance towards Wu Feng. Using a calm tone, he spoke in a voice that was slightly slower than his usual voice. Teacher Wang, I understand Wu Feng's objections. She's questioning my qualifications to be chosen as one of the class monitors. Before you rub my name off, I want to say this. I'm willing to accept Wu Feng's challenge. If I can beat her in a fight, I'd like everyone to vote again. His voice was moderate, but the originally clamorous class one instantly turned quiet. Dai Hyodin, Zhu Lu, and even Wu Feng herself were instantly stupefied. They never thought that Hua Yuao would actually accept Wu Feng's challenge. Wu Feng had the red dragon martial soul. In terms of quality, it was slightly inferior to Dai Hyodin's white tiger and Wang Dong's radiant butterfly goddess, but there was only an extremely tiny gap between them. Moreover, she also had the most optimum combination of 200 years rings. That, in addition to her tyrannical combat power, as well as her 25 cultivation made it so that she exceeded Hua Yuao in all aspects. This could be seen from how she'd been able to become a core disciple, despite the fact that she didn't have a high ranking in the freshman assessment. Even Shrek Academy's picky teachers had recognized Wu Feng's relatively large amount of talent. Even though Hua Yuao was a spiritual attribute control type soul master, he was still only a one ring soul master, and his only soul ring was that of the 10 year rank. No matter which angle you looked at it from, nobody believed that he'd be able to contend against Wu Feng. And yet, Hua Yuao had expressed his willingness to accept Wu Feng's challenge. In addition to that, his calm voice didn't seem impetuous in the least. Furthermore, the determination in his voice had surprised everyone. Wang Yan's pupils contracted slightly. Seeing the calm gaze in Hua Yuao's eyes, he became silent for a few seconds. Afterwards, he took a deep breath, then nodded. Fine. Since that's the case, I'll allow I'll allow you two to have a match in the soul dueling arena. However, we'll change the bets to make it fair. If Wu Feng can defeat Hua Yuao, he'll be stripped of his qualifications to participate in the election. Conversely, Wu Feng will also be stripped of her qualifications if she loses to Hua Yuao. Wu
monitor, he'd never be able to hold his head up high in the class. An adverse effect on his mental state far surpassed the pain he'd received from any physical damage to his body. So he chose to fight. Even if he'd definitely lose, he still had to accept Wufeng's challenge. Even if he lost, he had to lose like a man. If he didn't even have the guts to accept Wufeng's challenge, how would he obtain his revenge in the future? After the students of class one had arrived in the soul dueling area, Wang Yan helped them pay the entrance fee. This was a soul duel where no one other than the students of class one could spectate. In addition to that, this was the first soul duel that Huo Yuao was participating in since he'd entered Shrek Academy. Wang Dong had walked to the soul dueling area alongside Huo Yuao, but he hadn't said anything to him. He could understand how Huo Yuao was feeling today. Not only had he not been chosen as a core disciple, he'd even been called into question like this. Now, it seemed that Huo Yuao could no longer endure things silently. Instead, he'd chosen to prove himself through a method such as this. Xiao Xiao didn't utter a word either. However, she silently fixed her gaze on Huo Yuao's body. In her mind, her companion was no longer a new youth. He was a man, a man who had the courage to take on a challenge. Not everyone had the courage to face an opponent who was clearly stronger than them. How many people could take on a challenge like this while fully knowing that it was impossible? Let's bet. Let's bet. I'll be the banker. Does anyone want to bet? Huo Yuao's odds will be one to ten, while Wu Feng's odds will be ten to one. Zhou Sigan stood and shouted. Teacher Wang Yan had accompanied Huo Yuao and Wu Feng to the Soul Dueling Arena, but naturally didn't bother to care about the other students. I'll bet a hundred gold soul coins on Wu Feng. Dai Huobin was the first person to approach Zhou Sigan. He handed him a heavy coin pouch. Zhou Sigan's facial muscles immediately twitched. You don't have to be this cruel. Dai Huobin replied disdainfully. If you want to be a banker, you should have the guts to take a bet. If you don't, you should keep your thoughts to yourself. Stirred up by Dai Huobin's arrogant words, Zhou Sigan immediately spat out angrily. I'll take it. I'm just scared that you won't give it to me. Even if you win, I'll only owe you ten gold soul coins. I'll take any bets. However, Zhou However, Zhou Sigan wanted to cry after the following scene unfolded. A large number of students ran towards him, with practically all of them betting on Wu Feng. The disparity in strength between both parties was simply too great, to the extent that nobody was optimistic towards Huo Yuao's chances. Betting on Huo Yuao would give an extremely high payout, but nobody was willing to bet on him. Zhou Yu's expression was becoming uglier and uglier, but it was too late for him to take back what he'd said. Instantly, his expression had become as dark as the bottom of a pot. At that moment, a voice that caused Zhou Sigan to become overjoyed rang out. I'll bet a thousand gold soul coins on Huo Yuao. The person who walked up and handed him an exquisitely made gold banknote was precisely Wang Dong. Immediately after Wang Dong handed his banknote to Zhou Sigan, Xia Xia also took out a golden banknote. I'll bet a thousand as well. Hearing these two voices, Zhou Sigan immediately took their bets. The other students had bet a total of around two thousand gold soul coins, yet Wang Dong and Xia Xia had just equaled that. In other words, he wouldn't have to pay out of pocket if Huo Yuao lost. On the whole, a crisis had been averted. We'll bet 50 gold soul coins on Huo Yuao. Two crisp voices rang out simultaneously, jolting Josikin. There were actually still more people who dared to bet on Huo Yuao. After looking carefully, he realized that the two people betting on Huo Yuao were actually the Lan sisters. The sisters smiled at Wang Dong, then took out a total of 50 gold soul coins. I'll bet 50 as well. Another voice rang out. This time, Josikin was somewhat flabbergasted. The person who placed a bet this time was actually his good brother, Kai Jingxuan. During their match with Huo Yuao's team, Kai Jingxuan hadn't even been able to even release a soul skill before he'd been knocked out by Huo Yuao and Wang Dong's combined spiritual shock. Jingxuan, what are you doing? Zhou Sigan asked suspiciously. Cao Jingxuan smiled cunningly. I know that a fellow like you has a lot of money. Why can't I bet on an unknown gamble? Still somewhat suspicious, Zhou Sigan replied. That can't be right. You've never done something that doesn't profit you, nor have you done something that you're unsure of. Cao Jingxuan replied in an easygoing manner. That's not your problem. Besides, I'm only betting 50 gold soul coins. That isn't too cruel. However, let me remind you, if you are you out as win, you'll go bankrupt. With odds of 1 to 10, you'll have to pay out 21,000 gold soul coins for these 2,100 gold soul coins. Do you even have that much money? Uh. Cold sweat immediately began to drip off of Zhou Sigan's face when he heard Cao Jingxuan. Right. In the extremely unlikely chance that Huo Yuao managed to win, what would he do? Wang Dong and Xia Xiao had each bet 1,000 gold soul coins. That, multiplied by 10, was an astronomical figure to him. Wang Dong, Xia Xiao, can you guys lower your bets a bit? Zhou Sigan had previously hoped that Huo Yuao hoped that Huo Yuao would cause an upset. However, his current attitude had completely flipped around. Wang Dong replied, You said that you were willing to accept any bets, no matter how high they were. I'm confident in Huo Yuao, and I'm not afraid of losing. What are you afraid of? With that, both he and Xia Xiao turned around and found a place to sit. Seeing their backs, Zhou Sigan mumbled unhappily, Humphrey, let's see how you start crying after you lose. It'd be weird if Huo Yuao really was able to beat Wu Feng with such a large gap between them. Still, I've really dug a hole for myself with the odds I've set. If I'd known people would make such large bets earlier, I would've taken it easier, so as to guarantee that I'd still make a slight profit. Kai Jingxuan patted him on the shoulder and replied in a sincere voice, Being impulsive truly is the devil. As the spectating stage continued to buzz with activity, Huo Yuao and Wu Feng proceeded to enter the Soul Dueling Arena. For the sake of safety, Wang Yan was personally acting as the referee for their match. After entering the arena, Wang Yan said solemnly, I once again remind you that this is nearly a sparring session between fellow classmates, so although you can go all out, you absolutely cannot injure your opponent. Do you understand? Once one party gains an upper hand in the match, I'll stop it immediately. Both Huo Yuao and Wu Feng nodded at the same time. However, Wu Feng said offhandedly, Teacher Wang, doesn't that mean that you'll have to stop the match after only a few seconds? After saying that, she turned around and walked towards her side of the arena. Wu Feng hadn't even turned 12, yet she clearly developed much faster than other girls her age. This was exemplified by her extremely tall figure. Furthermore, her feminine traits were very obvious. This was especially so for her fiery red hair, which had a peculiar beauty to it. Only, her tomboyish personality, which caused her to be even rowdier than boys, was clearly somewhat disharmonious with her beauty. As Huo Yuao slowly walked towards the other side of the arena, Wang Yan whispered, Try your best, but don't force yourself. Sometimes, patience is a form of strength. Huo Yuao could see how concerned Wang Yan was for him. After nodding to him, he slowly moved backwards. He understood Wang Yan's good intentions. But he already decided not to spare any costs when he fought against Wu Feng. He had no intentions of backing down. Both sides were quickly separated by a distance of hundred meters. Wang Yan stood in the middle of the arena with his arms spread out. After ensuring that both parties had finished making their preparations, he suddenly raised his hands and shouted, "Begin!" Wu Feng moved instantly. Her red hair fluttered in the wind, resembling a red cloud as she charged towards Huo Yuao at full speed. Her slender yet forceful legs caused her body to rapidly shoot forwards whenever her feet touched the ground. And in the blink of an eye, she'd already traversed several tens of meters. As her tender body rushed forward, dragon scales began to cover half of her body. Though they were still a good distance away from each other, yet Huo Yuao was already able to sense the valiant air coming off of her body. Surprisingly. Surprisingly, Huo Yuan didn't move at all. Instead, he simply shut his eyes and stood there, making it seem as if he was meditating while standing up. The spectator stage had become completely silent.
soul master himself, Kao Jing Xuan had a much greater understanding towards the similarly controlled type Huo Yuao. During the match that time, he instantly being knocked unconscious without even being able to use a soul skill. Many people had assumed that it was the work of Wang Dong, but Kao Jing Xuan was fully aware that it had been a spiritual type attack. Even though he'd had Wang Dong's assistance, the truth was that it had still been Huo Yuao's attack. More importantly, he'd even been specifically guarding against a long-range attack like this. The time surrounding his body had been slightly distorted, which was extremely hard to see with the naked eye. Because of this, he hadn't been afraid of long-distance single target attacks. However, even though his time elapsing clock was able to distort time, it wasn't able to distort Huo Yuao's spiritual detection. Once Huo Yuao's attack had landed, Kao Jing didn't have the chance to do anything at all. This had greatly increased Kao Jing Xuan's interest towards Huo Yuao. Kao Jing was someone who had a strong desire for knowledge. He really wanted to know how Huo Yuao had been able to do what he'd done. After all, Huo Yuao only had a ten-year soul ring. Could his soul skill be used in two different ways, or did his soul skill have two different effects? With its detection and attacking abilities, would that still even be considered a ten-year soul ring? Only hundred thousand-year soul rings could have two skills. Because of that, even though everyone else believed that Huo Yuao would definitely lose to Wei Feng, Kao Jing had a certain amount of confidence in him. This confidence was even stronger than that of even Wang Dong and Xia Xiao's. Sometimes, a person's rivals can understand them more than their teammates. The distance between the two parties gradually decreased. Facing emotionless Huo Yuao, Wei Feng raised her vigilance. After all, Ying Tian had been knocked unconscious during their previous match. In their post-match research, they felt that the best way to protect themselves would be to gather their soul power in their heads. If they protected their spiritual seas, their opponents' attacks wouldn't be able to overcome their defenses. Because of that, Wu Feng didn't bother to use any soul skills. From her point of view, Huo Yuao had no chance of winning in a direct competition of combat power. As long as she was wary of his spiritual shock, everything would be fine. In reality, none of the students present, other than Wang Dong and Xia Xia, were aware that Huo Yuao's main soul skill was his spiritual detection. Currently, the distance between the two had shrunk to a mere five meters. Stamping the ground with her left leg, Wu Feng shot towards Huo Yuao like a sharp arrow that had been released from a bow. At that moment, Huo Yuao finally made a move. The instant Wu Feng moved, he shifted his feet. As a result, he was able to quickly sidestep to the left. At the same time, he sent a kick flying straight towards Wu Feng's abdomen. The instant that Wu Feng had leapt out, her arms had been raised up high, while her palms had slashed towards Huo Yuao's shoulders. By relying on his spiritual detection, Huo Yuao had grasped the trajectory of her movements perfectly. Because of this, Huo Yuao had sidestepped her attack the very moment she began moving. At the same time, he sent a kick flying towards an area that was very hard for Wu Feng to defend against. Even though she was extremely confident in herself, it was extremely uncomfortable for Wu Feng to deal with Huo Yuao's attack. However, she wasn't willing to get kicked by Huo Yuao. Helpless, she could only twist her body in midair in an attempt to dodge Huo Yuao's kick. However, the fact that she was in a leaping position couldn't be changed. Unexpectedly, Huo Yuao suddenly stopped his kick in midair, then jumped forward using his left leg. After jumping half a meter off the ground, he changed his right leg sweeping kick into a regular kick. This allowed him to perfectly kick Wu Feng's slightly defined and perky round buttocks. One's buttocks practically represent a person's center of gravity. If someone's buttocks would be kicked midair, their balance would immediately be broken. Just as Wu Feng twisted her body to the side, she felt a large amount of force transmitted through her buttocks. She immediately let out an alarmed cry when this happened, and used her left hand to push against the ground in an effort to seize an opportunity to control her own body. After kicking Wu Feng's butt, Huo Yuao immediately used a follow-up move, landing his right foot on the ground. He suddenly rushed towards Wu Feng. Up to this point, his eyes had remained shut. However, his perception of the outside world was far clearer than it would have been if he'd been using his eyes. As Wu Feng pressed her left hand onto the ground, the speed of her fall decreased slightly. However, Huo Yuao arrived at that point again, stamping his right foot on the ground. He rushed forwards and used his left leg to strike Wu Feng's slender waist. Naturally, Wu Feng wouldn't just let him have his way with her. She hurriedly raised her left knee and angled it towards Huo Yuao's left leg. At the same time, she exerted some strength with her left arm, borrowing the strength of her physique to forcefully turn around and send a vicious kick towards Huo Yuao with her left leg. As a result of the embarrassment she was feeling, Wu Feng had put all of her strength into this kick. Even though she hadn't used a soul skill, the all-out kick of a soul grandmaster that was using her martial soul couldn't be underestimated. However, Wu Feng made another miscalculation. Huo Yuao suddenly pulled his left leg back mid-kick, then went down into a squat, allowing him to dodge Wu Feng's kick. Immediately afterwards, he nimbly shot forwards and firmly slapped Wu Feng's lower back with his palms. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.